Hey, what is up everybody? Garden State Aviation here back with another video. So last week I asked you guys on Instagram uh, if you wanted me to show you what I use to make my thumbnails and the graphics in my videos and you guys voted overwhelmingly yes. I believe it was 96% yes to 4% no. So yeah, that being said, I'm going to hop onto my computer and show you guys what I use to make the thumbnails and graphics in my videos. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm here on my computer and I'm about to show you guys what I use to make my YouTube thumbnails and uh, graphics in three, two, one. All right, so this is what I use to make my uh, YouTube graphics and thumbnails. This is called snappa.com, S-N-A-P-P-A.com. Uh, so basically you can choose how much, so if you wanna make a graphic, uh, you can like choose uh, what your pixel size, I don't know, 1240 by 990, uh, so you can just click create, uh, so you can create the graphic here, or uh, you can choose like different some Instagram posts, Instagram story, LinkedIn post, uh, they have all these infographics, uh, graphics, sorry, they have all these graphics and everything. Uh, now this is actually how I made my YouTube channel art, uh, and I'm pretty soon gonna have an end screen for a YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, this is how I basically make everything uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is how I make the thumbnails, this is how I make the graphics in my top uh, aviation related topic videos. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a tour, so why don't we do YouTube thumbnail. This is what I use most commonly here. So you can add a background photo, so let's just click a random one. You can add a background photo like this, if it ever loads. Or, and you can always choose to remove this background photo like that. Uh, yeah, so you can add a background photo, uh, you can have effects, color overlay, you can darken the screen, uh, you can blur, so why don't we use a random graphic? Um, we'll use my logo as an example. So this is my logo. Yeah, I know it's pretty cruddy. Um, so here's my logo, and basically what you can do is you can reposition, remove, or you can flip everything horizontal. Uh, you have opacity. You can remove the image background, but that costs money. Uh, you can add like titles. So I don't know. Uh, you can add random titles like I. Like for example, you can just add text. And you can add a lot of stuff like that. Uh, you can add graphics like I just added. Uh, you can add shapes. So why don't we add this massive, massive circle. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that you can do uh, on this now. It does cost money. You like That's why the upgrade now is there. Uh, you're allowed to have three um, downloads per month. So you can choose which way you download. So personally, I in my thumbnails, I do web optimized JPEGs. Uh, you guys can choose whatever though. Uh, you have to pay for some aspects of it. So if you wanna move the image background, you have to uh, start paying. Uh, if you wanna download more than three pictures a month, you have to pay too. Uh, but this is the base that you get. So all you need to do to use Snappa is just create an account so you can log out, log in. Um, they're not gonna charge you anything as long as you're not as long as you don't choose a plan, they're not going to charge you anything. So this is free for the most part, but if you're somebody who wants to use more than three uh, high-res images per month, then you have to pay. But some aspects of it you have to pay, uh, some of it you don't. And you can also saturate pictures, darken, blur. Uh, you can increase the brightness, the contrast. Uh, well, there's not really any contrast here, but uh, you guys know what I mean. So you can have background pictures, and it's just really, really fun to play with. So this really, really gave me, uh, compared to my older thumbnails, I'll put one of my older thumbnails on the screen right now. Yeah, compared to my uh, older thumbnails, like those, uh, I have a lot more options here on Snappa than I do really any other platform because uh, they kind of let you have a demo of it, which is three pictures a month. And if you really don't use more than three pictures a month, you're gonna be fine. Like they still allow you to use it. They don't like force you to pay or anything. But uh, yeah, that is what I use for uh, to make my YouTube thumbnails, basically to make anything really. So let's go back to main menu. Um, yeah, I'm not really so. We'll just go to save graphics. Um, here you can have. Here you can save your graphics, of course. 
but uh, let's just go to the base so you have a lot more options so yeah like i said this is what i used to make my thumbnails uh, this is what i used to make the graphics in my videos and yeah that being said that does with this video if you guys like the video please like subscribe to the notification bell so you miss my videos uh and comment down below uh what you guys think of my thumbnails and do you think that i should use a different uh form of graphic design or should i just stick with snap up Anywho, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.